The government says inflation is muted. Our next guest begs to differ and then some. He's Peter Schiff, author of The Real Crash and his general Peter Schiffness. Hey, Peter, you got the Big Mac index. Explain what that is to me. Well, it's not my index, but it's just more anecdotal evidence that what we get from the government when it comes to inflation is not information, but propaganda. You know, the, um, uh, the economists began tracking the prices of Big Macs worldwide because what they were looking at was trying to uh, look at purchasing power parity uh, by seeing what a Big Mac costs in various countries. But, of course, that means they have the data. And so I looked at their data, and it, they began tracking it in 1986. And from 86 to 2002, the price of a Big Mac pretty much tracked the CPI, both the CPI and the Big Mac, average 4% per year increases during that time period. But since 2002, uh, the Big Mac has gone up by over 6% a year, yet the government claims that CPI or inflation is only 2.5% a year. So something's wrong. Well, Either it, something's it's... changed at McDonald's or something has changed in the way that we report inflation. And I, I mean, couldn't it be a little bit of a both though, Peter? It can't government. be a little bit of both because McDonald's is a corporation. Now I've looked through this. They don't they don't break out their Big Mac margins for reasons that make all kind of sense, but their corporate margins are actually holding up pretty well and except for the last two years have been expanding, despite what we saw from Tyson Foods and some of these other groups. Yeah. So on a well, margin margins side of things, I mean McDonald's wants to I'm charge just looking as much at the price can. of the hamburger and that price went up in line with the CPI for sixteen years and then in two thousand and two they started to diverge. Now, what's the explanation? I mean, that's just more anecdotal evidence. In fact, we got news from Tyson Foods uh, the other day uh, that showed that a big drop in meat processing and pork processing and an increase in chicken because Americans are no, can't afford the rising cost of food, so they're trading down. You know, the government claims we're spending more, but prices aren't rising. But the only reason we are spending more is because prices are rising. In fact, imports from Japan last, uh, from China last month plunged to a three-month low because we're spending so much more money on food, on utilities, and right. rent that but we let, can't let, afford to buy the things that we want let's focus because on we're what paying we got, more let's for let's the focus things on what that we, we got need. In terms of inflation, it, it's, excuse me, but let's talk about just the inflation because we can play tit for tat on the anecdotal thing. It, all day. Tyson said weak things, but if you poured through the Berkshire Hathaway 10Q, they said that the drought, they said that they saw lower shipments in, in grains and some of these food sources because of the drought. And Occam's razor holds that the most obvious explanation is probably it. We had a drought. It was in all the papers. It raised the cost of feed. Yeah. Isn't that it's kind a, of the easiest you know, explanation? That's what the Soviet Union used to say. Every year when they didn't have any 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 crops, they blamed it on a drought. I mean, it's, it's always bad weather. That's the excuse that the government makes. Look, the government is creating inflation. The money supply has exploded. The Fed's got interest rates at zero. It's buying $85 billion uh, worth of mortgages and government bonds every month. That's the inflation. You can see it manifest itself in stock prices, in real estate prices, in bond prices. It's all over the place. But the government can't acknowledge that it exists because it can't do anything about it. Because if the government takes away the cheap money, I mean, if the Fed takes away, if they raise interest rates, this whole phony recovery that they've created will collapse and will be in a worse economic crisis than 2008. So the f government cannot tell us the truth about inflation. They're going to keep lying until more people wake up. But let me reconcile this with the government being liars, and, and so that should be satisfactory. But what they can't talk about is that they're fighting deflation. Isn't that one of the arguments, that there just <laughs> isn't demand for this stuff? We can't get the velocity of money going up. Corporations aren't spending on anything except buying their own stock. We can't, we can't get any they're, demand generated. They're not generated. fighting deflation. I mean, that, that, that's a ruse. I mean, first of all, prices haven't fallen once. The CPI has not gone down once. I think the last time the CPI actually had a negative year was maybe 1955 or 1956. And although back in the, in the 19th century, falling prices were the norm. We, we did much better back then. We had a faster economic growth when consumers benefited from a falling uh, price level. Uh, falling prices are actually a good thing. We like it when the things that we want to buy become less expensive. That's what creates demand. Demand is a function of price. 
the lower the price, the more demand. The idea that we need rising prices for consumers no. to buy is sheer nonsense. I mean, just look at the no. price of cell phones or computers uh, no. or, you know, I, they hey, keep we, coming we down. I, I hear what you're saying. More I hear what you're saying. Price goes down. Okay. So this is all the Peter, government I'm gonna, I'm gonna wants inflation. Off. So Peter, they pretend they're fighting I inflation you, so they I, can do what they want, which is to base the money yep, so yep. they can spend more than they collect in taxes. All right. Well, we got the Big Mac indicator. We got anecdotes that we can swap back all day. Peter Schiff, who makes a compelling argument, as always. You can read more about it in The Real Crash. Hey, get out there and buy yourself the book. Listen to the write up and want you to let me know what you think in the comment section below or via tweet.